I configure my new WordPress installation to use my MySQL database? I don't know if you remember a couple screencasts ago, I mentioned that um, in order to get the WordPress software to work, I need to give it a database. And so we created the database, we created the MySQL database, and now we need to actually tell the software, this is where my database is, this is how you access it, here are all the details. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. How do we do that? Um, this is where we actually need to use a plain text editor. I'm going to do this in FTP just so that we can really easily visualize what we're doing. And this kind of gives you an example of what we of going in and editing some configuration files. Um, first thing we're going to do is I've actually I'm logged into uh, my test.robobunnyattack.com subdomain here, and uh, we'll see that right here I've got WordPress, just the blank files, just the or the the, the install the actual software files installed inside the WordPress directory because what I want to do is I want to install WordPress at test.robobunnyattack.com slash WordPress. Okay, um, so I'm going to go ahead and double click on here. So we're just looking at these files and we'll see there's a bunch of different files here. Um, PHP files, these are the files that we care about actually because this actually are the program files that tell the computer what to do or the server what to do. Um, there's a file here called wp.config sample and what we need to do is we need to create a copy of that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click file and hit duplicate and this copy I'm just going to call it WP config. Okay um, and then I'll just hit duplicate and so now we have two files here. See it was just doing its little work there. We have a file called config sample and we have a file called WP config.php. Um, this is the file right here that we want to edit. And we, this is where we're going to put, in essence, the keys to the gas tank are going to go inside here. This is the information, this is the file that WordPress uses to figure out, okay, where do I go access this database? So to do this, um, to act, what we need to do is we need to edit this. And I'm not going to bother downloading it onto my computer and all that stuff. I'm just going to edit it right on the server. And uh, to do that, um, I'm going to, I've already set this up so that I can edit it using Text Wrangler. Um, and you do need to have a plain text editor. Um, I recommend either Text Wrangler if you've got a Mac or a Notepad++ if you have a PC. Um, and so there's Text Wrangler right there. Okay, I've got that open. Um, I've selected the file and I'm just going to click the edit button right here. If you're not seeing this little edit button here, this, this edit icon, this Text Wrangler icon, um, the way that you would change that is under Preferences here under CyberDoc, you would go the editor under the preferences editor right here. You would just select which which program you want to use. And in this case, I've already selected Text Wrangler and just make sure to click always use this application. Um, so we've got that configured. This is going to make our lives nice and simple. I've selected the file that I want to edit. I'm going to go ahead and click that big bad edit button. And there it is. There's the file that we want to edit. I'm going to close that other file. And now don't let this scare you. What you're going to about to do is you're about to edit a PHP file, okay? Um, and this stuff might look like a great big mess, but it's actually not that hard to figure out. Um, this is basically the base configurations for the WordPress software. And down here, just a few on line 17 or thereabouts, you have your MySQL settings. Okay, and this is the stuff we just set up. Start, some of this stuff might look familiar to you, right? Database name, username, password. Where have we seen this before? Why we used all this information when we created our MySQL database? And I saved all this information in my little important information text file here. And so this is the stuff I need to put in here. So the first thing it's asking us for is this database name. See right here where it says database name here? We need to put the database name right inside there. We're going to leave those single quotation marks and just replace database name here with our actual database name. In this case, we've got test DB 2012.07. That was the name of our test database. I'm going to go ahead and pop it right in here like so. There we go. I just pasted that right in there. Okay. Next thing is we need to give it the MySQL database username. And again, this is not your FTP username. This is not your shell user account. This is the username that we created for our database, which we have down here. Okay. Database username, testdb user 2012.07. So let's copy that. And let's just paste that right inside there. Let's just be absolutely careful. Make sure we're leaving those single quotation marks. That's fine. Whoops. 
look what I did. I accidentally added a space there. Let's not do that. Okay. Don't worry if Text Wrangler uh, underlines this stuff. Totally fine. Okay. Um, next, we need to put the password. And that's this crazy password we created right here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to replace this with the password. And finally, the host name. This is super important. I don't know if you remember this or not, but back when we created our MySQL database in our little dialog box, it showed up and it said that local host will not work. And that's currently we've got local host written right here. And we know that's not going to work. We actually need to put the host name here. And that's what this is right here. MySQL.test.robobunnyattack.com. Make sure you're only selecting that. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to replace the word localhost with the actual host name, mysql.test.robobunnyattack.com. Um, and obviously you're going to put in the values, whatever values you've set up for your own database. Okay, so we could hit save. Right now this is telling us that we have unsaved changes. Go ahead and hit save. So that uploads that to Cyberduck. Let's double check here. and Let's just hit refresh. And look at that. This has updated this. We can see this is a new version of this. That's good. That would be fine, but there's actually something else we really, really should do. And that has to do with making your WordPress installation more secure. If you scroll down just a little bit more, you see this section here called Authentication Unique Keys and Salts. And this is something, I'm just going to stretch this open so you can see this. This is something you really, really should do. WordPress will work if you don't do this, but it's not going to be as secure. So let's go ahead and... Uh, follow the instructions here. This is super simple. Um, it says here that you can generate unique phrases using this particular link and this is the link right here. Okay, don't include the space wordpress.org. That's not part of it. It's just https colon slash slash all this stuff all the way to salt slash. We're going to copy that. Let's open up a uh, I'm going to open up Chrome here and I'm just going to go to this page and you'll see that okay this looks like gibberish, but watch, every time I hit reload, it just generates new authentic uh, or unique keys, just randomly generates those. Um, not unlike this, the strong password generator that we've already seen. So there we go, that one looks good. I'm going to go ahead and select everything here. I just did a Command A and Command C to copy all of that. I've selected everything on here and I've copied it. And I'm going to switch back to Text Wrangler, and this is where I need to replace everything here with what I have right here. Okay, and so to do that I've just selected everything and I'm just going to hit paste and watch what happens. There we go. We've got everything here. Now if you happen to have soft wrap text on it might look like a little bit of a mess. That's okay. I'm going to turn that off. That's why I have soft wrap text off right now just to make it a little easier to read. Okay, so we've got all these unique keys. Don't worry you don't ever have to remember these. Okay, um, showing us that we have unsaved changes. Let's go ahead and hit save. Okay, and that's uploaded that again. Let's double check here at Cyberduck. Uh, last edited at 946. Let's hit reload. And there we go, 948 to confirm that we have uploaded the new stuff. Okay. Um, believe it or not, that's it. Um, there's barely anything left, uh, but I'm going to save that for the next screencast, okay? Um, you've successfully configured uh, WordPress to work with your database. Let's go ahead and quit Text Wrangler and we can just go ahead and quit Cyberduck while we're at it too. And uh, tune into the next screencast where we actually see if it all worked. Okay? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.